Greetings and welcome to all from the Wrong Ring Society. So, Wrong Sa Webinar Sa Sung Chetbu Songre Darju Liang Nu Ren Dennis Ronkup An Ren Jong Liang Nu Ren Titi Ronkup Huni Net Do Rem Wrong Ring Society Sa Atim Samsa Agyap Tokchi An Surbo Khamri Mo to the respected speakers for today, Ren Dennis Lecture of Darjeeling and Ren TT Lecture of Gangtok. Wrong Ring Society expresses a warm welcome and a heart full of gratitude for having come here. How I wish we could conduct this webinar in lecture language, but so few of us know how to speak and write lecture. That is why our society has launched an internet platform to teach lecture language to all corners of the globe. So till then, Ren Gideon Namchu, president of our Wrong Ring Society, will now tell you something about us. Just, uh, I would like to tell everyone that our webinar is being recorded for the information of all. So Ren Gideon Namchu, please. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Simic. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please accept my greetings and come remote. Um, it is indeed my great privilege to uh, welcome you uh, all in this uh, August uh, audience uh, to present to you the webinar uh, being hosted by the Wrong Ring Lepcha Culture and Welfare Society based in Kalimpong, India. I, I, I have just stressed the last part just because there may be some of you who may have participated from abroad. Welcome to all of you. Now allow me uh, to introduce to you the moderator of our webinar today, Dr. James Simic, who has given a very beautiful welcome speech in both the wrong ring and in English. I shall only dwell in English. <laughs> Dr. Simic uh, is uh, an alumnus of Kolkata, Calcutta Medical College, a premier institution. And he has an equally brilliant professional background, but a professional career spanning several decades. Presently, he is uh, living in Kolkata with his wife, uh, Renu. Mira, a very gentle and soft-spoken lady. Ren James, ever an active person. Uh, he has, uh, even more so now after his retirement, is very keen in the welfare of the Lepcha society at large. So that's Dr. Ren James for you. Uh, we are really very glad to have uh, so many of you spare the time to be to join with us. Um, we know that you are from various backgrounds and we are very happy and delighted that you have enriched our webinar so much by your participation. We also have some alumni from the Wrong Ring online lecture classes also. Uh, very good to have them too, uh, staying in touch means so much to us. We are actually rearing to go for the speakers straight away, but uh, not before I <laughs> have a word or two on them. We have two very distinguished and knowledgeable uh, speakers uh, in the person of Ren Dennis Lepcha and Ren Titi Lepcha. They have a very daunting task of uh, unraveling the secrets of two vital facets of the Lepcha culture, which they have to do within a matter of minutes. So they will require all the good wishes we can give them. Now, I have been asked to speak something about the Wrong Ring Society. Well, it's uh, members comprise of some young 
and some not so young members, some experienced in various fields and others rich in vitality and exuberance and rearing to go ahead. Some of us are uh, active uh, professionals, full-time professionals in government, in business, in academia, and it's various other fields, philanthropy also. So that's what the group comprises of. This society professes to work primarily for the Lepcha community, which is a very teeny weeny lot uh, living in the Himalayan region, along with a host of other communities. It's not quite known out in the outside world, except for a few, precious few, I might add, who are in the academia. So we have uh, devised this uh, webinar so that the people at large can get a glimpse of different facets of our society so that they can come to know us a little bit more. We, the online lecture language classes, which I, I touched before, is also designed with this in view. And uh, we have received very good response from them. And we are very much encouraged by that. So in due course, we shall be having regular webinars on different, different subjects, different, different speakers. Uh, and in ultimately in due course of time, we would enlarge our reach to sort of come in contact with universities and uh, governments and non-government organizations, academics and individuals, so that eventually we will be able to form a greater alliance as well as some very meaningful relationships. Just as we sort of uh, reach out, we shall also not uh, miss out the community where we shall be delving inwards and uh, looking into the structure and the values of the society that is fast evolving in this present world. Maybe we may have to suggest some measures to strengthen or buttress them, all with the purpose of preserving our Lepcha heritage. So that is the uh, purpose of this society. And of course, we shall not be losing sight of, the, of that section of the society who are not so well endowed. So it's quite a tall order, as you can understand. We know that such work cannot be done alone or in isolation, but uh, would require the wherewithal and the cooperation from all quarters um, in future. So with that note, I end my talk and it's bye for now. Thank you very much. And it's over to Ren James again. Thank you very much. Thank you, President, sir, for letting okay. the audience know who we are all about. And now let us have the poster of Ren Dennis Lecture, please. Ren Dennis Lecture is our next uh, is our uh, speaker, and he will speak about the lecture festivals of Namal, Nambun, and Namsong. It is indeed great for, to have him with us today. Ren Dennis is a prolific writer with contributions to many Nepali publications. The Archulia magazine, which has been the sole mouthpiece of the lectures this side of the Tista, has had many articles from him. He has written six books. He has presented papers in many national seminars of Sahitya Academy, the Indian Council of Philosophical Research, and Christian History Association of India. And his knowledge of English, Nepali, and lecture has made him an established translator as well. 
and something of interest he has written the lyrics of many christian songs <clears throat> he has been one of the key persons spearheading the movement which included street processions in kolkata hunger strikes dramatic developments in the mela ground in kalimpong which ultimately gave birth to the mayan lang letter development board on a personal level like all wrongs or rather like most wrongs he is a very down to earth and friendly person highly approachable he will love to answer your questions later in this session so please let dennis ronka have the center stage with the camera khamri mo yung sangren ren sangren i am so grateful to have invited me and to, to share my uh this uh, small writings and my tansit with our literary scholars thank you so much tokchi ati okay let me start with uh nam al nam sum nam means year y e a r year al means new nam sum nam means year y e a r year sum means celebration So New Year celebration, Nam Sun Nam Bun. All right. Uh, let's go to the Genesis. It is the celebration of liberating aspects of Rong Kup's life from the torments afflicted by Lasso Mung Panu, the king of the demons. Who is Lasso Mung Panu? To answer this, we need to delve with the creation history. or creation story of lepcha race we have to dig from the creation story uh, without uh, going through this uh, creation story the background of namsum will not come let me uh, strengthen my background of uh, namsum and nambun by writing this uh, uh, creation story it burum it means to create so itbu means the creator itbu rum created first man fudong thing and nojong new from fresh snowball of kongchen konglo here i let us have the comparative uh, comparative uh, discussion and the study see hebrew literature also delve with uh, this uh, creation story for them the men were created from the mud but uh, let us their story tells that uh, the first progenitors were created from fresh snow of kanchenjunga that means purity purity of lepta that's why we are called Rom kub, rom kub, children of God, gifted by God. The rom, ayom means knowledge, intelligence, wisdom. Or uh, from other parts, so you can use it for bone marrow. This true first creature, let's say human being, fudong thing. and nozong new they were told by god that they should be living separately i don't know how how it was but it was told this means that is what the story says fudong thing was living on the top of a mountain narang nasheng chu and nozong new was placed by the creator in naho nathar the a lake as long as uh, fudong thing and nozong new behave in a manner befitting their celestial lineage they were happy but they were not contented with happiness alone it's a human nature they needed company the failing is the temptation nozong new constructed a ladder and climbed up narang nasheng chu to meet fudong they met secretly at tarkol pratam sometimes they met each other at sugyum subling 
lake near Nahonamthadda. It's in Najang New removed her bangle and kept it near her pillow as she found it uncomfortable while sleeping. The bangle fell into the lake and from there sprouted Sunyol Kung, a mountain palm tree. This tree later becomes the abbot of Lasomung Panu. They started living together and, and, and had physical relation. Consequently, a baby was born and they kept this baby in a forest. So in course of time, they had six more children who were too neglected in the forest, cave, and the cliffs. Idburum sensed something had gone wrong with his beloved children, Pudong Ting and Nojong Nyo. God was waiting for a clue about, about it, and that time there comes a Puholbu, a dog, guarding Nojong Nyo doorway, and the truth is told to Rum. So God sent out Fudong Ting and Nojong Nyo to recite in the foothills of Kongchen Konglo. The fallen couple gave birth to the legitimate children, Nungle New and Kothong Fi. After the birth of this Nungle New and Kothong Fi, Nozong New and uh, Fudong Ting had uh, another two children called Numshang New and Numbung Ting. Now, one thing we have to, we have to remember is this, uh, you know, Lepcha believe that this uh, Nungle New and Kothong Fi are the guardian angels of babies because the moon during Tungbong Fat or Ingrum Fat during the baptism, okay? They invoke the name of these two people, Numlen Nyu and Kutong Fi. From Numshung Nyu and Numbong Ting, population increased and spread throughout the Mayal Kyong Liang. Now, let us uh, come back to those first children. What happened for first children? Those seven children were not dead. They had grown up to become demons, Mung, Rumdo Mung, devil of smallpox, Do Mung, devil of leprosy, Arut Mung, the devil of accidents and misfortune, Ginu Mung, devil of envy and jealousy, Asur Mung, the devil causing death of unborn children and mothers. Uh, during childbirth. Now, let's uh, know these uh, herbal medicines and uh, the sanizer and um, you know, all they were curing the, the, the sick people, uh, but uh, they failed to get the medicine for leprosy, it seems. Because when these leprosy wanted to attack Lhasa they called all these demons for meeting. Unfortunately, this Dommung, uh, devil of leprosy did not turn up. So uh, lepcha, lepchas do not know the how about this uh, uh, the moon and cannot uh, give uh, medicine for this lepro, leprosy people. Uh, Asur moon was there, then others children develop into snakes and insects. The firstborn son of Fodong Ting and Najung became the king of demons in Lasso Mung Panu. This Lasso Mung began to take revenge against the human race. The fierce battle started between Runkups and Lasumung could not be defeated as it took the different forms of animals like clock, rat, long, the bull, the ox, clock long satong, the tiger, kizu uh long satong, kum thiong the eagle. Sade, the thunder, Bu, the snake, Un, the horse, Bu, Un, look, the ship, Suhu, the uh, monkey, Hik, the fowler, Kuju, the dog, Hik, Kuju, Moon, is the pig. So, 12 forms, it was incarnated, or taking the uh, 12 forms. So people invoking God's name pleaded for his divine intervention. It would send a bamboo species, Poyong, but it reached a height and stayed 
rooted there. It moves and uh, beetle insect, but it also transforms itself as a bamboo. So he sent grasshopper followed by cricket, but they could not rescue tormented rongkups. At last, Rum created Azor Bungting to liberate his people from the bondage of Mung. Now, yeah, Azor Bungting, it's not a unanimous, okay, in this uh, idea. Uh, the Damsang Liang people and uh, Renjong Liang people and Pro Liang people and uh, Peyu Liang people, uh, they have uh, half and half opinion about it. Uh, they say, uh, Tasi thing, Tasi thing. So you, Tasi thing, Namsun and Thang is there. Here, they say the same thing was there, Mukti Data, Savior. But other say it was Azor Bungting, how the Bungting and Moon were created. Lasso Moon was constantly changing its figure into tiger, as I said. Finally, Bungting, that Azor Bungting used new pork, poisonous arrow, which hit the demon king which had transformed into eagle, and it flew to a palm tree of mountain top of Talong Valley. You know that palm tree where the bangle of uh, Nojongnyu had fallen and palm tree was grown? There, as an eagle form, the Lhasa Mungpunu flew and sat, it seems. Uh, with the help of Bungting and other gods, the wrong coops managed to do away with Lasubum. But how did they do? Let's us with the help of gods, Kum Thiong Thing, Kum Sing Thing, Sak Chung Thing, send Pusikbu, but Pusikbu is a caterpillar, to eat off the tree roots because it had flown on the palm tree. In course of time, the tree was fallen and Lasubum, as an eagle form, flew to Sakyong. Pentong in Zongu. Anyway, with the help of Bungting and other gods, the Rongkups managed to do away with uh, Lasomung. After killing, uh, killing the Lasomung, all Lepchas gathered at Parkol Tam Itam. They started celebrating victory. This very day falls on the last day of Mar Lavo, and following day falls the New Year Karnit Lavo. This is Nam Sung. Sung, celebration, Nam, the year. No, as I said, Nam Sung is celebrated for seven days. On the eve of this celebration, they make an image of Moon, the demon, out of millet dog and throw away from home. They shout, Yahoo! Rum Gemo! Moon Famo! The god has won and uh, demon has been defeated. Now, how is it celebrated? The seven days, the first day is called Sams, Samsu Al, the welcome of new day. They offer Kachu Kaching, roots, Thukbi, grains to creator. Family eat meal together. Of course, they always take chi, a country liquor. The second day is called Lonsut Ritsimo. Lonsut, Lonsut means the news. They share. Now they, they go to their relatives, kin's house, and accept their blessings and eat together, celebrate together. Third day, fourth, and fifth, and sixth day. The young and old, children, everybody, they go house to house to keep learn sit, sharing, that is carol singing. They say that they are saved and liberated from Lasomun. On the seventh day, all gather in one specific place and have a picnic like celebration. That day, they have Chongye Longye. Chongye Longye is um, uh, what do you call it? archery, archery. 
on the on this day, that means seventh day, they had first fenalok, fenalok war dance. So they sing, no, run to Safen and I am not a singer, huh? but anyway, just for real thing, I am singing. Run to Safen and This one, you know, war dance they do. And then number two, they have archery competition on the seventh day. The third, they have they greet each other. Nan Sambetla, Tumla Kutmo. Next year also let us meet with uh, you know healthy heart and mind. We may remain healthy all year. They had common meal and tea. Now food, they have kuruku. Now this kuru, I don't know, it's barley, I think. You know, kuru in English, I don't know what it's called. But in, uh, I think in the Nepali, they call it uh, haparku, no, kuruku. Kachu kaching and thukbi. Kachu kaching is a roots of uh, different, uh, and thukbi they eat. Now, this is the celebration. Nam sum nam al. All right. Now, let me conclude. Let me conclude. But the conclusion, I'm very sorry. I'll be critically analyzing it. First, let's go to create some history again. The story of Fudong thing and Azongnyu. Are the Lepchas influenced by Hebrew literature? Or the Hebrews are influenced by Lepcha literature? Because in Hebrew literature also, you find Adam and Eve, the first progenitors. Second, in Hebrew literature also, fall of man is because of disobedience. Here in Lepcha also, fall of Najognu and uh, Fudong thing is disobedience. Najognu constructed the ladder to go to Narayana Seng Chu to meet Fudong thing. Is it the Jacob's letter of Bible, the Hebrew story? For disobedience, both the literature, lecture literature, there's the story and Hebrew literature also. Woman takes the initiative. You see, uh, the Eve tempts the Adam. Here, in our lecture, not only takes the initiative to go to Fudong thing. Naturally, it is because uh, the women are beautiful. They are attractive. They are fascinating. They need company. Another question I can ask is, were Fudong King and Najong New really, uh, did they really sin? You see, they were the first human being. They were unknown of their physical development, emotional development, psychological development. It was just a nature, a natural attraction which brought about physical relation. And the children were born. They were not aware of the idea of conception of the baby. They, they gave birth to children. They did not know who it was, how it was, why it was. Now, second, it's a very interesting question. Number seven, why seven children? And if you have known the uh, celebration of secure fat, the, the, the what they call celebration of uh, prosperity on the new harvest day, they offer, no? That time also you will hear the story of seven families in uh, Mayal Kyong. There are also seven couple celebration. I don't know why the seven is coming there. And uh, Namsun celebration is also seven days. Whereas uh, uh, Lepsas, they believe that we, we follow lunar eclipse. Seven days. The last one in the, in the creation history. The first children were hurt because they felt injustice done upon them, isn't it? But they revolted by avenging their own brothers and sisters. 
let's come to Namsung Namal because my my topic was uh, Namal Namsung, no? So I went somewhere, but the creation history has come. So we have I have to do because that is the background for Namsung uh, Namal Namsung. The Namal Namsung is overcoming evil by goodness. This is the only celebration that distinguishes leptas from other community. Time of celebration is logically kept because when harvesting is over, hard working leptas working day and night in the cornfield are now enjoying the fruits. This celebration is not in between the year of the month, you know, just for celebration sake. The, the, this festival is ideologically kept by lectures on the when all the harvesting is done to enjoy it. Kinship bone is celebrated by eating together the same meal. There is a logic behind it. Psychological bond is strengthened. All of us know the reason behind the celebration of Nam Al or Nam Sung. There is a the difference between sympathy and empathy, it demands to forgo your orthodoxy. Nowadays, lasso singing has been influenced by the culture of other community also. Actually, on lasso, uh, when you uh, uh, when you sing lasso, no, in the house uh, house to house, we sing like this. the uh, the song says. New Year's joyful message today, we are uh, giving you in your house the blessings and prosperity with joyful heart we proclaim to all the wrong groups on this auspicious occasion of New Year. So they sing like this. Nam al nam al nam al message, no? Today, we in this house, happy news, no? So they sing. I, I don't know who wrote this. Uh, uh, listen, lyrics are huh? beautiful and the music also put so well. Now, now what I'm telling you is how, you know, the other, uh, the culture of other community has been mixed in uh, singing lasso, okay? Nowadays, you know, they sing in a different way also, our youth, you know, with guitar and all they say. Like that, no? They're mixing. So this is how it is coming, the celebration. And we are, I don't know how far we have to go, how far we have to adapt, how far we have to celebrate, or only for knowledge we should keep our creation history, if you are to keep, keep up. How far we have to give in our own philosophy and uh, you know the what you have learned you know what you have learned what you have the the, the, the what they're convinced of uh, only for uh, uh, knowledge sake it is uh, the, this is the story in the background and all but sympathy and empathy as i said it's different from today i don't know the listeners uh, my uh, uh, wrong groups uh, the scholars uh, let us uh, uh, come you know, one way, the, the, you know, how we keep up this uh, philosophical aspect and the celebration of this, you know, in your in the postmodern world and postmodern wrong groups. Uh, with this, I think uh, I have uh, whatever I got, I did it because this was also I had uh, given this in uh, all India radio. Thank you so much. Tokchi Atin, Tokchi Tutsi, Kamrimo. Okay. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. Agyap, agyap Tokchi to our first speaker, uh, Lapan Dennis. Uh, thank you so much for your scintillating talk. There are a lot of questions. I also have a question, but these question and answer session will be after we finish with our second um, topic. In the meantime, before we start the next topic, now 
as you know, this Rongrin Society has Rongrin uh, language courses, internet courses, an internet platform that reaches all over the world. And here is an advertisement where the admissions are going for the sixth batch. So it is there in your uh, chat boxes, a link to get admitted to this course. It's in the chat box. And this course, this course, uh, batch number six, will be starting the course in June 27th, 2021. Please join and know in eight hours, know your lecture language in eight hours. Thank you. We are having uh, students from all over the world, from Japan, Switzerland, Czechoslovakia, Canada, Italy, and also from uh, Renjong Liang and Damsang Liang also, and from Pro Liang also, that is Bhutan. Okay, so now let us go on to our next topic. The next topic is the calendar and zodiac signs of the lectures. These are interrelated topics and hence we put these topics together. And let's have a, a picture of uh, Lopon Ren TT lecture, please. Okay, here's our handsome Ren Titi Ronkup. <laughs> Ren Titi Ronkup is a towering intellectual who has done much for wrong Sukdam, that is the lecture world. He has written three books and more than 20 articles on lecture culture. He calls himself a lecture enthusiast. And if you are looking for the ultimate proponent of lecture ethos, here is Ren T.T. Ronkup in flesh and blood. Well, virtually in flesh and blood. You must have seen advertisements of Sikkim University calling for admission to masters and PhD courses in lecture language. Well, Ren T.T. Lecture is a member of the board of studies of Sikkim University. Ren T.T. Lecture has been very dedicated in his post as technical coordinator to include lecture language in the eighth schedule of the Indian constitution. This schedule deals with the official languages of the Republic of India. We fully support you in this matter, sir. And if his efforts are successful, wouldn't it be great to have lecture writings on Indian currency notes? Jokes aside, it was a pleasure it was a pleasure talking to him and inviting him as a speaker because he has a great sense of humor. And that you will presently find out. Welcome to the stage, Ren Titi Ronkup. Let's give the center stage for Ren Titi Ronkup from Gangtok. Younger Kambi, am I audible? At the outset, uh, I, on behalf of Rong Mimong of Sikkim, Rinjong Liang. I extend my deep gratitude to Rongling Society for inviting me in this webinar and for holding this, I should say, historic and like uh, landmark decision because Lipcha calendar is one of the areas where we hardly seen, like uh, there were no debate, uh, no discussion on this Lipcha calendar. And Lipcha calendar is still like needs further discussion and for the interaction. Well, coming to the point, uh, my presentation would be simply a sharing on what I have collected from the so-called the Lipcha Bong thing, Lipcha senior knowledgeable person in the village. Uh, this is not based on kind of the historical kind of background or genesis. This is purely based on the kind of interview and the interaction and whatever I've seen whatever I have learned from our senior and our elders. So this is a small yes, uh, presentation. Well, uh, with regard to the, the concept of the idea of how the 12 year cycle, the animal science has been adopted in the uh, lecture culture that has been uh, covered by the previous speaker, Dennis Lepun. So once again, uh, I'll, reshare how this like um, the 12 year cycle what it means to lectures uh, with lecture terminology see uh, the details of the 12 year cycle has been covered already 
Yeah, this is uh, about how the uh, 12 year cycles are like adopted in the Libra calendar. Uh, 12 year cycle, right? Number one mouse that we call Kulok Nam, Long Nam, Sutong Nam, Kum Tiong Nam, Sagir Nam, Bu Nam, Un Nam, Luk Nam, Sihu Nam, Hig Nam, Puju Nam, and Man Nam. Uh, with this, uh, 12 year cycle, five important elements are very important, which are very much incorporated with this link with the 12 year cycle. That is called, in Lipcha, we call it Namkor Kham. First one is Wood, Kung, Mi, Pat, Punjing, and Ung. This is very important, and without knowing your uh, five elements, again, the counting of your. Um, Long nam long nam will remain incomplete. I'll share a few characteristics of uh, the animal sign. Like this is what exactly I have uh, collected from the uh, knowledgeable bong things and the knowledgeable persons in our society. The biggest, the saddest site of our so-called repository, our range in the village, we have a strong legacy of not sharing the information. This is one of the area like we need to explore because not sharing the information means in the event of death of a knowledgeable person in the village, we are losing this important, very, very important repository of knowledge of our community. Well, coming to the characteristics of each and every sign, animal sign. So for instance, Kulognam. Kulognam basically is intelligent, hardworking, creative, selfish, good in dealing with wealth, money, and honest. And with regard to Long Nam, their character is loyal, intelligent, intelligent, ambitious, capable leaders, diplomatic, very importantly, very interestingly, delay in marriage, and energetic, of course. And so Thong Nam, a strong sense of supremacy, self-confident, arrogant and proud, frank, outspoken. For Kum Thiong Nam, compassionate, cunning, lazy, egoistic, jealous, intelligent and fun-loving. For Sadeer Nam, kind-hearted, disciplined, frank, honest, sensitive, talk loudly, and of course, helpful. For Bunam, clever, egoistic, selfish, very ambitious, wise, and attractive. For Unnam, hardworking, frank, listen to others, walk first, get hurt easily, never trust others. For Luknam, very talkative, very slow, simple, make quick decisions, and of course, romantic. And for Sahunam, sharp-minded, clever, love to travel, ability to read and read the situation, and present gain. For Ignam, one of music, powerful uh, speaker, generous, love spots. And for Kulognam, ambitious, Kujunam, ambitious, nervous, aggressive, selfish, and kind-hearted. And of course, the Monam is good-looking and very attractive. And for the names of the months, which is very, very important, we can see the lecture terminology. For January, we call Kurnitnyom. For February, we call Kursong. Similarly, for March, Thon, April, Sum, May, Namcham, Bloom, June, July, Namkum, August, Parvim, September, Blue, October, Eid, November, Ra, and December, Ismar. Very interesting thing about uh, this, uh, the name of the month, it is based on purely the 
environment, the, the nature. One Sine Bong thing is of the opinion that this 12 month name, it is derived from name from varieties of plants and trees found in our surroundings. So it is nothing but it is, uh, as for the Bong thing, it is a name of a tree. Pursong, again, it's a name of tree. Thorn is also a name of a tree, which is very, very important. And if you go to village and even till today, if you interact with the, our village farmers, you ask the sowing, harvesting, and various seasons of uh, agriculture pattern, they rely on the flowering of a particular a tree or the, or the shooting of a plant. That's how our people still rely on the nature for their various activities of the agriculture. And the next slide is, uh, this is very, very important. Once we are looking forward for a partner, partner in the sense can be a, mar can be a marriage partner, or can be a business partner, or, or can be any partner. <clears throat> These signs are very, very important. Uh, for instance, Lognam, the favorable partner would be Sadir and the Sahu, the dragon and the monkey. And they are, of course, unfavorable partner too. So for instance, for mouse, the unfavorable partners are a horse, eagle, kik, the dev, and kuju. And for ox, snake, and hik are the favorable partners. Sheep, dog, dragon, and pig are, the, are considered as unfavorable partner. Similarly, for tiger, horse and dog are the favorable partner. And monkey, snake, pig, dragon are unfavorable partner. Similarly, for eagle, sheep and pig are the favorable partner. Eek, a hen, horse, mouse, snake, and ox are unfavorable partners. For dragon, mouse and monkey are favorable. Dog, sheep, ox, tiger, and horse are unfavorable. For snake, Tongnam or ox is the favorable. And in, for unfavorable, pig, monkey, tiger, and sheep are unfavorable for Bunam or a snake. For a horse, tiger and dog are favorable. Mouse, eagle, hen, and dragon are unfavorable for snake. For uh, horse. For sheep, eagle and pig are the favorable partner. Ox, dog, dragon, hen, snake are unfavorable. For monkey, mouse, dragon are favorable. Tiger, pig, snake, dog, and horse are unfavorable. For hignam or hen, ox and snake are the favorable. Eagle, mouse, horse, and sheep are unfavorable. For dog, the tiger and horse are favorable. And dragon, ox, sheep, and mouse are considered unfavorable. And for pig, eagle and sheep are considered as favorable. Snake, hen, tiger, ox, and monkey are considered as unfavorable partners. One more important aspect uh, is that even these five elements, this have their um, correlations. Sometimes Again, we need to see whenever we think of like any good activity, wood and metal is always unfavorable. Fire and water is always uh, unfavorable. Earth and water is unfavorable. Metal with uh, water is unfavorable. And water with earth is unfavorable. Sometimes what we uh, see is supposing Sometimes what happens, even the matching partner sometimes got landed into a trouble. That is what exactly is happening is even the animal sign vis-a-vis -vis the element also is very, very important. This is what exactly depicted in lecture calendar. 
this is the element cycle five element cycles next slide is about the cycle of the year along with the animal signs and with this i conclude my presentation thank you okay thank you very much uh, ren uh, lecture thank you very much that was very very enlightening us uh, it's something um, uh, we should all know about especially when we are taken up so much by the english zodiac signs so now i will uh, hereby open the question and answer session for both topics so anyone let's have a great view of the audience and if they want any questions uh, they can ask the two speakers all questions are uh, acceptable you just have to raise your hands come on let's have a great view of the audience so if they want to say something they can raise their hands through their devices or they can unmute themselves and uh, want to ask a question ren i have a question uh khamri mo ren uh, ren tt lepcha uh, my name is gideon lepcha uh, i am from kalingpong uh, first of all ren i really want to thank you for the um, wonderful presentation you presented on lepcha calendar uh so ren uh, ren i have a question so you 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 had talked about the signs animal signs and the favorable and unfavorable part of it right but can you also throw some light what is the logic behind mapping those favorable and unfavorable you know signs what is the logic behind that ren if you can you know throw some light on that as well the uh, it is a matter of great research in depth i think this is what exactly in the in, the, uh, in my before my presentation i clarified whatever i have presentation uh, presented it is based on whatever the knowledge that i have collected from our uh, Uh, sine bong things and the knowledgeable person in our society i think the uh, this must be the based on the nature the nature of the animal okay okay thank you ren thank you so much uh, i also have a question um ren titi i am of course uh, my name is uh, uh, james simic and my question is that all of these things you know these zodiac signs of the lecture do they have a practical significance in this uh, current lecture society sikkim uh, especially in fixing marriages in um, uh, establishing business part partnerships especially i think in fixing up marriages do these lecture zodiac signs matter at all do relations get broken just because a person's two zodiac signs are favorable or unfavorable that's a very interesting question lapun it is very very important even to this day when uh we think of like marriage like uh, favorable when we are searching for favorable partners number one in lepcha custom your pucho is very important and two the lep three things are very important supposing whether you are loksam or you are simic or you are namchu number one and number two is your chu the lep to which to the and lep you belong that is first category and second thing your this zodiac sign clock nam long nam whether it is favorable or unfavorable this is very important number one and number three again the matching of uh, this elements five elements is also very important if something sometimes like zodiac signs like it is showing favorable but the elements if it is like uh, enemy enemy then there'll be a uh, the marriage cannot be possible okay uh, it is practiced lapan it is practiced even now these things are practiced even now yes yes lapan okay okay that's very very uh, wonderful to know and uh, in the chat box there's one uh, lady who has raised up her hand maybe know her please unmute yourself please and maybe see you please unmute yourself i am i am nandini bhattacharya panda i have done little bit of research on the lepcha community um uh, may i share some of my observations uh, with uh, ren dennis and ren titi both number 1 lepcha is a very old community like many other old communities so uh, when ren dennis was talking about the genesis story 
or Rain Titi talking about the zodiac signs, um, I don't find it very, very um, uh, um, exceptional. Because whatever the Lipcha, I mean, the way Lipcha had been portrayed in the colonial literature, after all, Lipcha community had their knowledge derived from the nature, and so had all the old communities, including what, um, I mean, the Hebrews or who are called the Hindus. For example, uh, Genesis story. Genesis story is, uh, it is quite common with all the old communities, including the Hindus in the Machu Picchu civilization. Like the, the, the zodiac signs, you know, entity that in fact, almost all the communities, they, um, they have same kind of notions or superstitions or whatever they say. So this is my observation. But may I ask you, Rentiti, that is why 12 months? Why not 13? Why not 14? Do you think that it is kind of the influence of the colonial people or it was originally conceived? Dr. Nandini, thank you so much for uh, showing your concern about preservation, promotion and further enrichment of the lecture culture yes. across the globe, I should say, not only Renjung and not only the Damsam. And with regard to your question, I think it is a matter of great research. And even I'm also, uh, like as mentioned by Jim, uh, Dr. Simic, I'm simply an enthusiast and I'm also working on it. I think your answer is, I think <laughs> it may take some time how, like, uh, why it cannot be 13 and why it cannot be 14. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, we are working on it. Okay. Ren Dennis, would you like to say something about as a reply to uh, Mrs. Nandini Bhattachaji Panda? Dr. Nandini, yes. Kamri. Kamri, Kamri. Kamri. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are um, we are in uh, what they call the global society, and uh, we have been you know social animals. So uh, our cultural mixer uh, mingling and all all this that, then philosophical mingling also is there. For example, um, uh, lectures also called uh, room as uh, Ibu Debu room. Ibu Debu room. Ibu is the creator. Debu is the destroyer. So is it a Shiva? Yeah. So like that, no, it's a coming. So this is a Jodagi also. But here in Jodagi, why not 13 months? Or some some year you have 13 months. Some year it doesn't go to 14. Now, see this lectures when they prepare this uh, uh, calendar, I don't know how they have this indigenous knowledge, madam. Hmm. The, uh, the second and the first... Rindinus, we lost you. Okay, in the meantime, any more questions? Please unmute yourselves and make yourselves heard. We have Dr. Vidya Joshi who has a question. Okay, okay, let's put the camera on her. Yes, let's have the camera on her. All yes. right, yes, okay. hello. Okay, madam, please go hello, ahead. Hello, everyone. Yeah. All right. Uh, good to see you, Tom. I just have one question to you. Uh, thank you for that presentation. It was wonderful. Mm, regarding the months, you said that the names of the months were derived from the trees or plants that are found in and around. Basically, the seasons we are talking about for the 12 months. Now, I just my question is, I just want to know, like you compared uh, the name of the months in Lepcha to the... Uh, more commonly known in today's world, January, February, March, April, and all of that. So is it just the translated version? I'm not talking about uh, the translation as in translated of January to a certain month, but the seasons. But say, for instance, for us, January is the first month. So in Lepcha also, when we have, uh, we tally the first month, does it come to the same as that you have shown in your presentation? 
Dr. Joshi, once again, uh, I extend my deep gratitude for showing your concern <laughs> about this. Year. See, uh, yeah, basically the calculation is something uh, in Lepcha calendar is based on the lunar calendar, number one. And number two, the month name is purely like, it is organically, but I should say, it is purely based on nature. For instance, Kanyit Pursong Thon Sum Namcham. This must be the name of a tree. This is for sure, number one. And whenever we prepare like a calendar, some, uh, supposing January, first month is January. In Lepcha, the first month is Kanyit. And for the understanding of uh, the, uh, what you call uh, the general public, Sometimes, like we, uh, the English calendar, the solar calendar will be the base in which our lepcha uh, name, a month, and the date will be inserted in between. Say, for instance, sometimes, like sometimes in December itself, some December, January, uh, supposing in December, like lepcha, New Year falls somewhere between, if we correspond, somewhere between. Uh, 25th to the third week of the December, Lepcha New Year sometimes starts. Like there'll be a one month uh, difference in English calendar and this, uh, what you got the general calendar and this Lepcha calendar. So, Ren, Ren Dennis, are you there? Well, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Well, Lupon, I'm, I'm here, but you know, the network is very on and off, on and off. Hello. Okay. okay. Uh, the question we hear going around is, how does the lecture calendar tally with the English calendar, the English Gregorian calendar? Uh, and Ren T has uh, given us information that the lecture calendar being a lunar calendar, the day in the English calendar varies. So the new year in the lecture calendar will fall somewhere in the third week of December. So that day in the English calendar will differ in different years in the English in this, in English years. So this is what Ren T has. Uh, uh, told us. Would you like to add something on that, uh, Ren Dennis? Hello. I think he's out of range. So any more? Oh, yes, Ren Dennis. Yes, yes. Okay. I think we are having problems with the internet. So uh, any more questions from the audience, please? We have a question from Ren Dichen Yankee Yankee. Yes, please go ahead. First, can... yeah, it was a very informative session. So actually, I had a question. In the slide, uh, there was a mention between the characteristics of 12 animal signs. And there were animal signs and the months given. So I just wanted to know what is the correlation between the animals and the month? Or is there any significance related to the uh, animal signs given along with the months? Yes, please, please, please respond, Ren Titi. Uh, no, like the month and the animal sciences are something different. I think that is not in yes. this presentation. Okay. No, month and the, what you call the animal science are not related. I think it is not in the presentation. This is purely something different. Okay, I indicated so. uh, the animal sign as well as uh, the favorable and unfavorable partner that was there in the presentation. The okay. month and the animal sign is totally different. It is not okay. related. Sure, sure. Thank you so much, sir. Ren, okay. we also have one more question from Ren Matthew Sela Limbu. So nice to have you. I know him personally. Ren, can we put up, put the camera on him, please? Ren Matthew Sela Limbu. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. Yes. Come hello. Your question, please. Please Come go ahead more. with your question. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Dennis. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, both the presenters, for your uh, nice presentation. I just my curiosity and my learning uh, goes along with uh, Ren Dennis's uh, idea about the origin of uh, human beings and everything on the Genesis account. I just wanted to, yeah, uh, I felt when you were presenting, you were a little bit of uh, on the side of the Hebrew where uh, Lipchas are possibly little bit influenced from the Hebrew aspect. And we know that one of the questions to you was that the story of the origin uh, 
the creation story is there with all, many tribals around and many people or people groups around. So uh, there is always a variation. There is always, uh, I should not say distortion, but there is always a variation in their presentation. So lectures also have a similar idea with uh, the Hebrew presentations also. But one thing I, in my research, I found uh, good about the origin of lecture story was they have they have a very strong idea of the origin of evil and they also have a very strong idea of heaven and no hell uh, but the challenges part was uh, the human supremacy the idea about uh, uh, human beings being the man who has to control himself god is near but not personal so in the lecture context god is near but not personal so humans have to manage things uh, my little bit question with uh, ren dennis is uh, because of the idea of lectures having a very strong idea competitively with other religion about the origin of evil and also about hell uh, not there and strong heaven, like human beings going back to their ancestors, going back to their forefathers, going back to heaven in another sense. Uh, so don't you think that lectures are more older than the later religions, which the idea of, we know that lectures have picked up the idea of hell from uh, Buddhism, as well as later on Christianity also. But in the original sense, like what K.P. Tamsang, Ren K.P. Tamsang would say that there was no concept of hell in the left hand. So that is one question that I want to ask you. And with Ren T.T. Lepcha about the calendar and especially the favorable and unfavorable idea in terms of marriages also. My question to you is, is the lectures? Uh, of today really following favorable and unfavorable idea about marriages because, because we know that cultures evolve. You know, we cannot stay there and it's, it has always been evolving. It, is, it has a little bit dynamic aspect uh, in it. Therefore, in today's context, uh, using the calendar for marriage for favorable and unfavorable idea, don't you think that we need a little bit of reform in this context? Or, or do you really want, uh, as a presenter, do you really believe this? Or do you think that we need to be kind of a, have a reform in our uh, system, cultural context also? Thank you. Yes, yes Lohan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 what is your good name? Mr. Mr. What is your good name? In Matusela, Mr. Matusela Limbu. Oh, Matusela, you know, Matusela in Bible, the, 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 the longest ever lived man. Yes. 900 something. <laughs> so, a long live, Matusela, in Tamrimo. Uh, when I was uh, studying, uh, uh, when I was uh, comparatively studying this uh, Hebrew literature and uh, Lepcha story literature, no, I found uh, Lepcha is superior than Hebrews. Because I gave you one uh, one example also, no? the the Hebrew created from pure uh, snow, so it's a so pure, so pure. Uh, it is not. Uh, you see, its uh, race has its own indigeneity in knowledge. Okay, uh, I think we're not getting him. Is the audience hearing him? I am not. No, 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 no. no I think okay. The signal is very bad. So, so I think uh, we'll uh, do away with that question. Uh, but just let it suffice that both of them are uh, great scholars, both Ren Dennis also and uh, Ren Mathuzala Limbo also. So these were good, good questions, which I think we should all think about. So any more questions from the audience? Excuse me, I have just one question. Actually, okay, Ren Nima, Ren Nima, that's Ren Nima. Please, Ren Nima, please go ahead. 
Yeah, this is for uh, Ren uh, Titi actually. Uh, it's actually uh, a, it's a follow up from uh, the question that uh, Renu uh, the Chinyanki had. I think the uh, question was incorrect, right? Uh, I think the question probably should be uh, what is the logic of the order of the animals? You know, so why does one animal come after the other? You have 12, first of all, you have 12 animals. Why do you have 12 animals? And why are they in that order? So why does, why does, you know, so, and then you say, okay, this animal, because I'm a rooster, I'm a hen. So, you know, 1969, so, you know, 12 years later, why does, what is the logic of this, you know, cycle? Is there a logic? Uh, let me first uh, respond to the, uh, the query placed by Mr. Subba. Relating to whether the concept of this matching partner, the idea of this favorable and unfavorable still in practice or not, number one. And we need to think of modernity also in this question. Right? To what I understand is, since we are in the concept of the globalization, number one. Number two, the idea of this uh, uh, favorable partner, unfavorable partner, we still practice. I practice Buddhism at this point of time today, but still in the village, even to perform a small like uh, rituals by the so-called lamas, before that, we need to perform one special ritual by the bong thing, informing the local deity, Lirum, that today this sort of like uh, the ritual is going to be happen. This is what exactly the identity is involved. Otherwise, what is there to see about the favorable and unfavorable since we have a better option of court marriage. There is no question of favorable and unfavorable in the court marriage. So we still believe in our ident unique identity, the concept of our uh, what you call the favorable and unfavorable. That is how our people still practice in our village. And with regard to the idea of this, what you call the cycle of uh, the logic behind the, this animal cycle, 12 cycle, it is purely based on the legend, the folk narratives based on the history of our creation as mentioned by the uh, Lopin Dennis, we are following based on the narratives of the uh, history of creation. That's it. Thank you. Hello, may I put in a question, please? <clears throat> it's uh, directed to Ren Titi. Uh, I just want to ask whether there has been any Tibetan influence in the Lepcha calendar, number one. Has there been any, is it similar to the Tibetan calendar? Or if not, then whether there has been any influence. And the second question also to him would be, what is the running year of in the Lepcha, Lepcha calendar? The running year, like we are in 2021, what is the running year in the Lepcha calendar? Uh, these two questions I have for him. With regard to this Tibetan influence, since uh, the the primary, the base of uh, the calendar is based on, the calculation is based on the lunar calendar. And of course, the, uh, there is nothing called Tibetan and nothing called uh, the Lepcha calendar. Since even Tibetan follow this lunar concept and the similarity between the uh, Tibetan calendar and the uh, Lepcha calendar in calculation, number one. And number two, with regard to the era, like here, uh, the question number two is, I believe as far as calendar day, we are in the uh, 2340, 2340. Okay, okay. Good. That, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for the question. That was a very good question. Uh, that question would have been mine also. So any more question from the audience? Uh, my name is Dadup Sirin Lepsa. I am from Sikkim itself. And my question is for Ren uh, Titi Lupan. Yeah, uh, Lupan, uh, our, yeah, our wrong calendar is called uh, 
पोहर तक पोहर तक करते पोहर तक कैलेंडर एंड इट्स बेस्ड ऑन द पुनु पोहर तक पुनु पोहर तक किंग सो लुपन कैन यू टेल समथिंग अबाउट द पुनु पोहर तक और द पोहर तक द वी कैन वी कॉल आवर आवर कैलेंडर पोहर तक करते लुपन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन the calendar actually the, the concept of pohar tak in sikkim was adopted by one self taught scholar late lachin kunju jamo unfortunately he is no more with us the calendar which are being published from the state of sikkim by renjo motanti rong tarjum which was being uh, the gummy was prepared by uh, late lapun kunju jamo long back uh, he prepared a wrong calendar for uh, coming 40 years can you imagine that was his calculation and we are using his gummy every year the idea of pohar tak it is again a matter of research even i don't have sufficient information about punu uh, pohar tak and there are some scholars there of the opinion that the there is one namthar chanak again namthar i heard about it in spite of my all out effort right from bengal ilam even prolang even in renjong i heard of uh, chanak again namthar but i have not seen this copy physically i think your answer must be in chanak uh, chanak uh, again namthar i suggest you to explore chanak again namtar you will get the answer about the uh, what you call pohar tak puno and now uh, we'll conclude this we thank you very much our very erudite scholarly speakers thank you very much and for all those who participated especially with those who participated by with the uh, questions and now uh, uh, before you go there's a we would like to take a feedback from you and please go to your chat boxes there's a form and uh, you can fill it up it, there's a uh, option for uh, leaving your comment also go to your chat boxes leaving your comment or if you can't then you can give your feedback through the emails sent to you and in the email there is a whatsapp number or helpline number you can uh, give your comment through that whatsapp number also we would like to have your feedback whether it's good or bad we would like to have your feedback so that we can plan our future webinars and now for the mandatory group photo every webinar has a group photo so now let's have a grid view everyone please put on your video cameras let's have a grid view please now uh since this webinar is all about our roots so why not end this meeting uh with an ancient lecture slogan please unmute yourselves i will say mutanchi rongkap three times and your response will be achule your response will be achule so each time louder than the last okay unmute yourselves i'm going to say mutanchi rongkap Okay, Mutanchi Rongka. Achille, 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much.